Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. Today, it's all about garbage. So, let's get to it. Right now, I'm in a virtual machine of Arch Linux with the awesome window manager. And, like I said, we're going to talk about garbage or trash. Have you ever taken out the trash and wanted it back? Have you ever uh, deleted a file and it didn't go to the trash and you wanted it back, but you couldn't get it back? It's gone. Well, today we're going to talk about it. <laughs> Most people would delete a file in the file manager. So I'm going to open up uh, Nemo and ooh, those icons are really big, eh? So I have some files here. Uh, so let's delete this one. These are just text files and actually there's nothing in them. I just made them for the sake of the video. Okay. So let's, most people would delete it like this. Move to trash. Now, if you go into your trash can, you can see there's one file there and you can click it on. If you decide you want it, you can click it on, right click it and go down here and restore it back to where it was. And of course, this is like uh, grade one stuff, right? And let's go back to that test file and let's delete it again. Move to trash. And then normally you go to your trash and right click the trash and empty the trash can. And then once you empty the trash can, it's gone. Now I'm going to close this file manager and I'm going to open up a terminal. Let's just ls it and there's my files. Now, a lot of people, Computer geeks and nerds, especially Linux nerds, like to uh, delete files in the terminal. So the only thing is, is that let's do it. So let's do a RM and let's delete that banking one. So we're going to delete it. See this file right here? Banking. So we're going to do RM banking and hit enter. So it's going to ask us remove regular empty file banking. And if we type in a Y for yes, it's gone and it's not in the trash. It's totally gone. Clear the screen and let's ls it. And you can see the banking file is gone. Now, at least that way it gives you a warning. You know, do you really want to delete banking? Y for yes and for no. But a lot of Linux computer geeks, when they delete a file in the terminal, they do it this way. And let's delete this one notes. Okay, we're going to delete that one. A lot of computer geeks will do it this way. RM dash F notes. So when you do it this way, you don't get a warning. It's just going to go and it's not going to go into the garbage can. It's gone. So let's hit enter. And it's gone. Let's ls it. So now we only have three files left, right? I have files, music text, and a to do text. Now let's just go to another workspace. Let's go to workspace five. Right click it and let's go to Nemo. And if we go into the trash can, we still have that test file that we deleted in our file manager. Oh, if you go to home, those other files are gone. Now, like I said, at least if you do it without the dash F flag, it's going to give you a warning. Do you really want to delete this? And you have to type in a Y for yes or an N for no. But there is a better way to do it. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to go back to the terminal and workspace one. And I'm going to clear the screen. sudo pacman s trash cli. And there we go. It's going to install it. And it's installed. Let's clear the screen. Now you could do this trash dash h. And I'm just going to say no. And here it's going to give you a list of options. So if you do trash put, it's going to put the files and directories that you pick into the garbage can or the trash can. Trash dash empty is going to empty the can. Trash list is going to list what's in the can, the garbage can that is. Trash restore is going to allow you to take a file that's in the garbage can and put it back into the place where it came from. And trash dash remove is going to allow you to remove individual files. So let's try trash list because I know I have one file that's already in there, right? Let's do, let's clear the screen. Let's do trash dash list. So you can see in the trash can, I have a file called test. Now let's see if we can restore it. Let's do trash dash restore. 
and hit enter. What file do you want to restore? Well, trash test is file number zero. So I'm going to type in a zero. And that's a zero, not an O. I'm going to hit enter. Now let's do trash dash list. And there's nothing in there. Now let's clear the screen and let's do an LS. And now we can see my test file went back to the home directory where it came from. Now, let's say I want to take one of these files and put them in the trash. Let's do the music file. Now, these are just text files. And like I said before, they're just empty, just for the sake of making this video, right? So let's put this music file into the garbage can. Let's do trash dash put music and hit enter. Now, let's see if it's in the garbage can. So let's do trash dash list. There you see it. Music text is in the garbage can. Now, let's go to Workspace 5, where I have Nemo opened up. And let's see if it's in the same garbage can. And I know it is. <laughs> but let's just look. So here it is. There it is there. You can go into your file manager, Nemo, uh, PC Man FM, whatever file manager you want to use. And you can go in there, and it's in the trash can. So it's sharing the same trash can. Let's go back home. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all of these. Okay. Let's move to trash. So we can see all four files are in the trash can. Well, let's go back to the terminal. Let's clear the screen. Let's do ls. So you can see there's no files in my home directory. They're gone. And let's do trash dash list. And there we have, we have four files there. Now let's do trash. Let's, well, you know what? Let's just clear the screen. Let's do trash dash H. And let's try restoring the file again. Let's clear it. Let's do trash dash restore. Hit enter. So now you see we have four files there. And let's say I want to restore my to do text. Well, you can see it's number two in the list, right? So I'm going to type in two, hit enter. And now let's do trash dash list. And to do is gone. Let's clear the screen and let's do an LS. And you can see here in between the, the clock, the time, <laughs> there it is there. My to do text is back in the home directory. Now let's clear the screen. And again, let's do trash dash H. Now, if I do trash empty, it's going to clear out everything that's in the trash can and all those files will be gone. You won't be able to recover them. But let's say I just want to delete one file from the trash. I don't want to restore it to where it came from. I want it gone, but I don't want to delete the whole trash can. Well, then you do this one trash dash RM. So let's clear the screen and let's do trash list. So you see, I have three files there. So if I do this, trash empty, it's going to empty the whole trash can and those files will be gone. Let's say I just want to delete the music file. So you do trash dash rm and type in music period text. Okay, now let's trash dash list. Now we see instead of emptying the whole trash can, we deleted one file from the trash can. So that's how you would use it. Now, what I did, <laughs> just to make it easier for myself, and you know what? Let's just clear the screen. One time, I finished making a video, and I don't remember now if I had edited it or not. And I wanted to, but I hadn't posted it yet to YouTube. I accidentally deleted it in the terminal, and it was gone. It wasn't in the trash can. It was gone. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go into my Zesh configuration file. And you can do this in Bash or Zesh. But I you know if you've been following my channel, you know that I use Zesh. And if you've been following my channel, you know I have a lot of aliases in my Zesh. So I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do this because I'm in the habit of deleting files with RM. And I always do dash F too. 
bang, the file's gone. <laughs> so like I said, I accidentally deleted a video that I was working on. I had to start from scratch. So what I'm going to do is vim into dash rc. And I'm just going to go to the bottom. Well, not the bottom, the bottom of my aliases. Here's my aliases. Look at all the aliases I have. And I'm going to do this. Alias rm equals trash. But, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a color scheme evening. How's that? Is that better? So now I'm going to go to the next line. I'm going to type in alias garbage equals trash list. And alias restore equals trash restore. And I think that's all I'm going to do. You could put some more aliases in it, but that's what I'm going to do. And let's save this file and get out of there. And let's just close the terminal. Let's do this one. Stores dash RC. You can do this or you can just close the terminal and reopen it. It's just as easy, right? Okay. And let's clear the screen. And let's see how many files do I have left. I have one file left in my home directory. And let's do type in garbage now. Let's clear the screen. Let's type in garbage and see if my alias is working. So garbage is going to list what's in the trash can. And I have two files in there. And let's clear the screen. Let's ls it. And I have one file in my home directory called to do. So let's do rm. So normally rm would throw the file into oblivion. It would be gone. Unrecoverable. But now rm is going to throw my file into the trash can. So let's do remove rm to do. And let's see if it worked. Well, first of all, let's clear the screen and do the home directory. So it's gone out of the home directory. Garbage is now going to list my files. And there it is. To do is now there. Now let's see if I can restore a file. So I'm just going to type in restore and let's restore to do. So that's number two. And let's list my files. Garbage. Now I only have two files in the uh, garbage can. And let's go to my home directory. Now I have a file in my home directory again. Right here called to do. Now I didn't make an alias for trash empty because I just want to be careful. I don't want to accidentally empty the whole trash can unless there's things that in there that I might want to restore. So I mean if I want to uh, let's do garbage again. So now I have two files in the trash can. So like I said on purpose I didn't put an alias in there to remove all those files. Uh, so if I want to empty the whole trash can, I'm going to have to do this. Em trash dash empty. Okay. And that's going to clear out the whole trash can, which I'm not going to do right now because I'm not finished yet. And I'm going to have to make some more files to show you how to use this. Intentionally, I'm not doing an alias for this one because I don't want to accidentally delete everything that's in the trash can. Now, I think I'm going to make another alias to remove a specific file from the trash can. Let's go back to uh, BIM dash RC. Let's do, um, oops, let's do alias. We're going to type in which my alias be. Let's do empty. Let's put a one in there. Okay. Equals, oops, equals trash dash, oops, dash remove. I don't know if it's easier to type trash remove or empty. <laughs> and let's just do a, uh, Let's do color scheme evening. Okay, let's save the file. And you don't have to do source dot zsrc. You could just shut it and reopen the terminal. <laughs> that works too. <laughs> so let's see what's in what's in the trash. Garbage is gonna list in the trash. Uh, let's let's remove this one called files. Okay, let's do uh, empty one. And let's type in files. Okay, and it's gone. So let's do garbage. So now we only have one file left in the garbage. And let's do uh, ls. Oh, I have one file left. Let's do uh, rm to do. So now there should be two files in the garbage. Let's do type in garbage. And now we have two files and let's empty it. Now remember, I didn't make an alias for emptying the garbage can just to be on the safe side. Let's do uh, trash dash empty oh and look at this i forgot about this because 
I just started using this a short while ago. I forgot about this. So when you go to empty the whole trash, you're going to get a warning. So I have two files in the trash can right now. And let's say I had 30 files in the trash can. Would you would empty the following trash directories? Notice that the default is no. So if I just hit enter, it should still be there. Garbage, just still there. So let's try this again. Trash dash empty. So like I said, the default is no. Would you like to empty the whole trash can? Yes. So I'm going to type in a Y for yes. And now it's empty. So let's clear the screen and let's do garbage. And now there's nothing in the garbage can. And I have no files in my home directory. And like I said before, you can do uh, trash dash H and you're going to get a list of commands. Or you could do, let's clear the screen. You could do man trash and get the man pages. And that's it. In this video, I showed you how to delete the files in the terminal and have them go directly into the trash can. And I showed you how to use the trash can in the terminal. And what I like about it is that it's simple, it's easy to use, it's available in every Linux distribution, and it shares the trash can. Well, it's the same trash can that is used if you delete a file in your uh, file manager like Nemo or PCMan FM or whatever file manager you like to use. I think it's a fantastic program. It's really light and I'm going to give it two thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Lennox Mansion.